Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Writing Tip of the Week. My name is Julie Stigmeyer, and I work with the GSCP in Writing Support. Today, I want to tell you about a resource available to you called Grammarly. Grammarly is a computer program that it can help to identify errors in grammar, spelling, and usage, suggest changes to you when you might have repetition or dense or difficult to read text, and it can also check for plagiarism. So I want to show you a couple of samples and then show you how to access it as a Pepperdine student. So this sample shows the various ways that Grammarly checks grammar, spelling, etc. So you can see this is a document that I created, which I uploaded to Grammarly and took a screenshot of to show you how this works. And you can see that with each of the underlined um, words or phrases, it will tell over here what needs to be changed. And as you click on each one of those, it will either change it or you, you can change or uh, reject the suggestion. So it's kind of, it's really helpful because you can see here, I have a couple of uh, a sp a spelling issue. Here was a agreement issue, which means that um, the verb is the wrong use for this this um, noun, et cetera. So, and then here, this suggests rewriting the sentence and it might give you some ideas. And that can needs a pronoun. So it's really helpful. Um, it's not 100%, um, but it can point out things and then you can decide whether or not you wanna make the change. The other thing it can do is it can check for plagiarism. And this will show, help to show you how to correctly make sure your, your sources are cited in your paper. And it can also give you an idea of how much of your text is quotations. So I included this quotation about, this is a little paragraph I wrote about animal therapy, um, animal assisted therapy, and I just copied and pasted this directly into the text. Notice here I didn't use quotation marks, I didn't paraphrase, because I wanted to show you that it would come up with the exact article that I had quoted from, but I didn't cite it correctly. So um, this is really helpful for you as a student because for this is showing that in this one paragraph, about 51% of it is plagiarism. So that means that 51% of it is not original. I didn't write all of that. So in that case, you want to make sure that you are citing it correctly, using quotation marks if you're, correct, if you're directly quoting. And um, also, you should also keep in mind that a suggested percentage for the amount of quotations in your paper should be no higher than 10%. And here we have about half the paper, because it's very short, um, being a quotation. So you want to try to avoid that. So that's how um, Grammarly can check for plagiarism. So how do you access this great source? Well, let me show you. First of all, you'll need to go to this community Pepperdine page, and you can get there quickly by just typing in bit.ly gsep writing support. And you'll come up with this site. And from here, you want to click on resources. And then you'll get to this site, and you'll click on the option for Grammarly at EDU. And then these are the instructions for how to set up your account. Notice here there is an access code, access code, and you need you can just copy and paste it when you're setting up your account. But please make sure you check the site. This is a screenshot from today, but it could be that the access code may change in the future. And then once you're logged in, this is how it'll look when you're logging in. And then here you are at your home page. So here you can see I have this kind of my dashboard. And these are the other articles I have uploaded. And then all I would do is click new here and it would bring me to this screen. 
And then all you have to do is hit Command um, V or paste in your text. So you can take your Word document, hit Control A, copy all of it, and paste it all right here. Then you can see how your score will come up uh, over here. So that's it for this week's uh, writing tip. I just wanted to share that resource with you so that you can use it as you are going through the final stages of revising your papers. Please get in touch if you have any questions about that or anything related to writing support. And happy writing!